What in the world is this thing next to me? Stay tuned, find out. Check this. Well, hello, John B. Parker here, back with another episode of Forever Stranded. How are you guys doing today? I am doing pretty well today. It's uh, It's been a bit, it's been a bit, but you know, hey, IRL stuff kind of takes precedent, and uh, you know, everybody's a little bit busy these days, and uh, we're just, uh, we get some free time, we decided to play some Minecraft. It's awesome. Awesome. I love having some free time. So, what I want to do today is I want to get more involved in the quest book so we can try and get ourselves out of this place. So, if we take a look at some of the quests here in the moving worlds, we had to craft a hollow projector. I went ahead and did that because it was pretty simple just so I could open up more of, uh, more of the rest of this uh, chapter. And it was pretty easy to make the hollow projector. It's not that hard. And so the next quest that we have here is uh, it's called first plate. So uh, we need to get our first plate. You need a small plate presser and obsidian. Place obsidian in the ground. Keep a one block gap with the presser above and use a lever to activate. To make plates in place a block under the presser. Nine ingots made into a block. That's just, you know, we only press basic plates. Well, I'm not sure that we're going to need this process to actually make the plates unless they are specific for this mod because we have other ways of making plates, but we need to continue this quest, so we need a small plate presser and a lever, and then we're going to need to get an obsidian. We have an obsidian, so well, we have a few obsidian. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can see I made the hollow projector, and let's go ahead and take a look at the presser. Which, which is literally just a piston and some iron. So, easy enough. And then we need a lever. Do we have a lever? No, but that's simple enough to make cobble and a stick. Boom. What about obsidian? We have some obsidian, don't we? Ooh, we got three obsidian. Perfect. There we go. That should be that quest done. Awesome. And we get a loot chest, half a heart, garbage. Uh, oh, I didn't claim this. So we get a loot chest, half a heart, but then we also get a choice reward here. Now, these are easy to make. The titanium al aluminide rods and the titanium iridium alloy rods. Those are easy to make. We get those materials from way back, sieving stuff, right? We get the dust and we can just smelt those into, into ingots. So we're going to take the low pressure tank because that takes a little bit to make. And we don't have the process for making that yet, and that might come in handy. So let's see, what do we want to do here? Oh my goodness, electric arc furnace processing, or, well, little little grammar, grammar error there, no big deal. Stealing is on a large scale and silicon. Well, we don't necessarily need to do that either. Let's see about the lathe here. Lathe will help you make machine rods. This is a multi-block made up of seven blocks. This is actually a really cool uh, mod that is kind of like Im immersive engineering except for it's a little more advanced in the fact that it's not as how how should i put this um it's more of a i don't know i i always get the feel with immersive engineering that i'm kind of building stuff that's like in the 1800s and whatnot you know big factory machines that drill into the ground or process oil into other things and and, and whatnot, so it kind of feels more like uh, 1800s-y, you know, to me. Uh, whereas this this mod here, I, I forget what it's called again. Let's take a look here. Uh, rolling machine, huh? We'll just take a look at the mod. What's it called? What's it called? Advanced Rocketry. Yeah, this is obviously a little bit more futuristic, I guess you could say. So, hey, it's, it is pretty cool. What do we got? Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't think that's very good. No, well, that saves us a little bit of water, I guess. Whippy. Anyway, that's that's not that useful to us right at the moment. So it looks like we need to definitely get the wafers. Now that you have boule, boule, you will need to cut them up to make wafers that will be used for later. So definitely gonna need wafers to make the uh, stuff for building a rocket, I believe. So it looks like we're going to need to potentially build all of this stuff. So let's look at see what an enhanced motor 
Oi. Making silicon boule is needed for wafers. This then will need a cutting machine. So we're probably gonna have to make all of these machines before we can start making any of that other stuff. All right, well, let's get started on that. Quartz Crucible. Quartz Crucible is the first thing here. Let's take a look. Crucible. Oh, I got 54 of these. How did I get 54? That's odd. Uh, I don't think we have a cauldron. I don't think we had a cauldron. There we go, Quartz Crucible. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff back here because we're not gonna need that most likely. What's next? Output hatch, input hatch. I think we're gonna need a whole bunch of these type of things. So let's take a look at the hatches and then the input plug. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, input hatch, which basically requires the machine structure. This might be the type of block that's gonna be used a whole bunch. So it's a whole lot of iron rods and a whole lot of iron plates. Good news is, is that we can, this is, see, this is why we don't necessarily need that, that presser because we have the engineer's hammer in this pack. There we go. All right. No more engineer's hammer. Uh, we can make another one just really easily. So, oh no, I crafted 63 iron nugs. Oops. <laughs> it happens. All right. We're going to go with 24 and 24. 26 because that's how what we had here so and we get well that was probably a few too many let's just make a stack of these uh, these will most definitely get used at some point so an input hatch requires a chest do we have a chest no well do we have the wood for a chest looks like we do yes we do input hatch just like that all right output hatch is a chest on the other side so we need that. Oh, here we go. Output hatch. Awesome. Oh, this is from Lib Volps. I think that might be an add-on mod kind of for, for advanced rocketry, kind of like how Redstone Arsenal is a, uh, Redstone Arsenal is the same for thermal. So we need a copper coil, power input plug, and then the crystallizer. So the crystallizer is the machine that we're gonna be making. So power input plug, not the creative one. We can't get that. Oh boy. So we need four small batteries. Do we get that? That's pretty simple there. Look at that. Oh no. Did we run out of, oh, it's tin. <laughs> okay. So we need to make another engineer's hammer. No big deal. No big deal. I thought I was like, what? That's supposed to be iron. I thought that was iron there for a second. It was crazy. I was like, oh my goodness. I thought, didn't we have enough? Didn't we have some of that? Uh, let's just go ahead and make a stack. Will it make a stack? Oh, lag. Okay. It didn't like that lag. That lag was pretty crazy. Power input plug. We need four of these, right? So actually we only needed to craft a few. Well, we got tin plates for days. <laughs> We're probably going to need... There's the power input plug. We're probably gonna need more batteries, more power input plugs, stuff like that. How many, depends on how many machines we need to make. All right, copper coil and crystallizer. All right, look, we got plenty of copper. Plenty of copper for that. And we have the copper coil block from Immersive. That's not the right one. Not the right one. There we go. All right, crystallizer? Crystallizer. All right, let's... There we go. Holy moly macaroni. Look at all of these. So we have this. We have those. Redstone repeaters. I don't think we have the torches. Three, four torches. Man, I really hope we can get this one done today because it'd be really nice. It'd be really nice to at least get the crystallizer done today. And I don't think we have a steel plate, but I know I have some steel ingots, so that's okay. We're only gonna craft one of those. That's all we need. All right, so we need the item I.O. circuit board. What do we not have? Look like gold dust. Okay, so we need gold dust, lime dye. Oh no, I have cactus. We can make that, that's easy enough. All right, so we need copper and gold. We need to go sag mill some copper. Uh, let's do Let's do like 16 and then gold. We'll do like 16 as well. All right, right over here is our manual sag mill machine. Oh yeah, 
And then what else did we need for that crystallizer? We needed lime dye, right? And cactus. Do we have any cactus in here? I have 190 cactus seeds. Okay. So we can go get... We need a piece of sand here. Is there a piece of sand on the floor randomly? Randomly on the floor here? Oh, updates. Nothing has changed. I literally just logged back in after a week because... Oh, I guess I did do change. Tried to organize the... <laughs> this is a work in progress. I'm trying to figure out how to output stuff directly from the void ore miner into a storage bank and then have that automatically get processed the best way possible and uh let's not look at that right now <laughs> it's a little it's a little uh hurt my brainy hurt my brainy uh i don't see a piece of sand damage there no big deal no big deal all right so we're gonna throw we need to get some cactus green up in here oh man i've been really busy Really busy at uh, at work, you know, with all of us who who tend to be considered, I guess you want to say, I'm doing air quotes here, essential workers. Um, I don't necessarily think of myself as an essential worker because I'm not a healthcare worker and I don't work in a business with uh, where I interact with the public, so it's not necessarily. I don't necessarily feel as essential as I'm told I am, but you know, it is, uh, at least I'm still working and I'm okay with that. We're definitely taking all the precautions, you know, um, you know, social distancing and, and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a weird time we're living in right now. Definitely a weird time. And, uh, uh, there's the cactus green. We need the bone meal, right? There we go. Let's just turn half of this into lime dye because I think that we're going to get... Yeah, we'll get two per. Alright, so there we go. There's the lime dye. Cactus green. Throw this stuff back in there. Gold, that's enough. Alright, we were looking for crystallizer. Yeah. Crystallizer. Alright, user interface. We have the glass paints. There's the user interface. The item input output circuit board. I think it's input output. I don't understand. I don't know what else IO would mean. But hey, control circuit board, and that should be everything we need. Or the crystallizer. Beautiful, Clark. Oh boy. Anybody anybody gets that reference? Uh, post it down in the comments, please. Because I want to know which of you is my favorite people in the world. One of my favorite movie uh, series of all time. All right, so we get that, and then we need to get four silicon boule. So I think we have to set up. We have to set up the crystallizer. So if we look here at the hollow projector, you shift right click, opens machine selection interface, and then if you shift scroll, it moves to cross section. So shift right click, and we can pick which machine we want to essentially visualize. And I click on the crystallizer, and I think it's supposed to just go. Is it not? Let's just. There it is. Awesome. So we look, we got the output hatch, crystallizer input hatch, and then copper coil, power input plug, and then this can be any coil. Or I think the coil can go on any side. Is there a, uh, is there a, oh, it's, here we go. Now that we got the crystallizer, it shows what we need to make all of the stuff for it. So we need six quartz crucibles, actually. All right, let's go back. We didn't have enough of the materials, right? So we need the power input plug. We need the crystallizer. We need six quartz crucibles. We only have one. We need two coils, and that's it. So we need to make five more quartz crucibles, right? Quartz crucibles. Hopefully we have enough quartz for this. We don't have enough cauldrons, though. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, please have enough quartz. Oh, yeah, we still have enough quartz. That's excellent. All right, so then we needed another coil. I do believe that the coils have some kind of effect based on the the type of material you use has a has a as a better you know it it'll work faster or something. 
I'm not 100%. And you can't middle click on this. So we're going to take the coils and put it there and there. Power input. Power input. Oh, yeah. Power input. All right. So we look at the input and output hatches. Input hatch can go there. Output hatch can go there. Crystallizer. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? That's a little weird. So shift scroll moves cross section here. Let's shift and we're gonna scroll. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I, I figured there was gonna. It's not as. It's not as uh, user friendly, I guess you could say, as the immersive engineering version of it. But shift scroll, shift scroll. What do we got? What do we have to hit? This? Where do we have to hit it? That's power input plug. No, we gotta hit it somewhere. There we go. Look at that. That's really cool. So then we go to click on this. We need to get some power up in here. And then this is like turning it on and off. There's the input hatch. There's the output hatch for automation. All right, so we need to get some power right here. We need to get some power. Good thing we built it kind of close. Let's take a look at some conduit. Oh, 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 fingers, help me out. All right, let's get some power here. Let's get some power, power. I don't know if you could attach it to the bottom, but that'd be nice if you could. Where's our power at? I think our power is right there. All right, so here, wait, wait. there it is. Awesome. Oh no. Oh no. That's a. That's in the way. That's definitely in the way. Let's go right here then. There we go. Oh, awesome. Awesome. All right, we're gonna get this crystallizer online, and then we're probably gonna call it for the day on this episode. And uh, oh yeah, let's see. Will it, will it will it get powered on the bottom? It looks like it will. That way we don't have to see the cable. Even though I am a I'm a weirdo, right? I like to see good quality good quality work. I like to see it, right? So in my real job, I'm actually an electrician. So I like to see good quality work with um, when when cables get run. I like to see them get ran if they're run properly and nicely. So you know, not everybody does. I'm a weirdo. All right, we got power here, and we needed to get the boule or something. It was. Oh, come on, come on. Let's see. What what do we need to do to get this? We need to put a silicon ingot and a nugget, and we can get the boule. But we need this silicon ingot. Oh boy, silicon dust. Uh, we will figure that out for next episode. Uh, oh, we we eh, there we go. Next episode, next episode we're gonna have a lot more advanced rocketry going on because we're getting out of here. We're getting off of this rock, and uh, you know. This is this is gonna be the, the the point in the mod pack where we tend to we tend to skip a little bit in the quest book just so we uh, can can hurry up to get out of here. We don't necessarily need to do every part of the quest book. You know, you don't need to do all of the stuff from advanced rocketry because you have ways of making stuff from advanced rocketry with the other mods, right? So we can make the plates, we can make the rods, we can do all of that stuff. We don't necessarily need to make the presser and stuff like that from advanced rocketry. So I really, I really actually like that, you know, I mean, if you want to play with just advanced rocketry or just Ender I.O. or just environmental tech, you know, there's other mod packs for that. Or, heck, you could even just download that mod and then maybe a couple other quality of life mods and play with those, you know. But, but this mod pack right here, we're going to use every advantage we have to get out of here as fast as we possibly can. So, I, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this today's episode. And uh, if you did, you know... Go ahead and hit that like button for me. It really it really helps me out. And if you haven't already, you enjoy the content that I that I'm putting out, think about hitting that subscribe button, you know? It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and I don't necessarily annoy you with a whole lot of stuff. So I really appreciate if you do that for me too. That'd be great. And uh, with that being said, have yourselves a great day.